Hello and welcome to Boudicca Blocks, where we talk about the lives of Canadian women both in reality and in fiction. Today I'd like to talk about fiction, specifically Jane Arkhart's Oh wait, this book right here. Lovely picture as well. This book is the story of an Irish Canadian family's emigration to Canada, the reasons for their emigration and the results of their emigration and what life was like in Canada when they first arrived up to modern day. Um, starts in, 18, in the early 1840s in Ireland during the potato famine and comes all the way up to modern day. What's interesting and wonderful about this story as, as the picture depicts, this is mostly the story of the women in the family. Um, there is one male sub-narrator who tells his story, but his story is mostly the results of the actions of his mother and the resulting actions of his uh, sister. He sort of connects the two generations, um, providing an interesting look at the woman's lives through a male perspective, which is just as important. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed Away. It was a lovely story. Um, I especially love the way Jane Arkart describes Canada. Um, she is a Canadian author and um, in case you can't tell, I'm Canadian and I love Canada. Um, a lot of the story takes place, sorry, takes place um, around the Great Lakes and on the Canadian Shield and that's basically where I grew up. Um, some of her descriptions brought made me feel like I was standing right on the shore again. Um, and I, so if you are a lover like me of the Great Lakes, you will love the descriptions of this book. They are just absolutely beautiful and stunning. They'll bring tears to your eyes, I kid you not. And the ideas in the story are just beautiful and beautifully put. I also confess to a fascination with Irish history, folklore, etc. I think it's a Canadian thing that we seem to be fascinated by the Irish. I'm not exactly sure why, but we do. Um, and the beginning looks into like the introductory couple of chapters that take place in Ireland are also absolutely beautifully described, and you just you feel like you're there. Um, now, as you know, and I've said many more many times before, I read for character, and the characters in this book. It spans generations, and yet every generation is meticulously described so that you know these characters, you know these people, you know what makes them tick, you know why they do the things that they do, and you know how much of an influence previous generations have had on the way that they are. Uh, the entire story is told by um, an older woman who is the last of her family. Um, and she's having to leave her home, so she spends the entire night telling herself her family story, the woman's stories that she's been told through the generations. Her grandmother told her, or her mother told her, and her grandmother told her mother, etc., etc., etc. And it's it's a lovely idea, this idea of family history and the history of women. Um, I know that in feminist circles, there's a lot of discussion of her story as opposed to his story as so much of history is focused on male endeavors and there's so little of uh, female history um, that is slowly being reclaimed. We are learning more and more about what happened with women in the past um, through the efforts of, his of historians, both female and male. Um, but this fictional look into history, um, I think, gives us a little bit back that we've lost especially as far as Canada and Canadians and early pioneers are concerned. Granted, we do have recounts of uh, pioneering life, both from the good side and the bad side. Um, as Canadian women have always seemed to be prolific writers, uh, but it is still a fascinating read and I thoroughly recommend it. Um, the title is extremely important. It plays a role throughout the story. Uh, the idea of being here but away and I think that's a uh, it starts off with the, a superstition I suppose and yet the way that it acts out in real life makes you question is this actually what is happening and you're given both the facts and the superstition and what's happening and the way that all three combine together to form a story is fascinating 
and then the way that this idea of being here but away plays into future generations and seems to continue throughout the daughters um, of this family it continues to have an effect and it continues to exist is just simply fascinating um, I simply cannot say enough in praise of this book um, I have to thank the reader of Boudicca books who suggested this also if you're watching this video I am waiting on the library to get February by Lisa Moore and then I will be posting my re reading and posting my review of that as well I'm just waiting for the library to get it to me um, I was lucky my mom had a copy of this one <coughs> sorry I do apologize so that is my post on Jane Urquhart's Away I really hope that you'll go out and read it now that you've heard my praise. If you do, please come back and let us know what you thought. Maybe put a video link to your own video discussing the book in the comment section below. I'd love to see it. Um, at any rate, I wish you happy reading, enjoy the summer, and remember, you're all beautiful.